Hi everybody, it's Richard here again and welcome to part 29 of where I show all my vinyl albums. Now we're currently in the 1970s glam pop section and today's video is really only two artists and they are Mott the Hoople and related artists to Mott and Sparks. So we'll get on with it. So the first one up, Mott the Hoople, their debut album from 1969. And this is actually pretty good, it's very Bob Dylan influenced. The song Backsliding Fearlessly, you would think it was Bob Dylan, but it's really, really good. And they do a cover of Laugh At Me, the Sonny Bono song. Uh, Rock and Roll Queen is probably the best known of this. It's a good debut album. And the second album is Mad Shadows. And this too is a good album. The glam sound hadn't come yet. But this has got No Wheels to Ride On, which is an absolutely brilliant song with fantastic vocal performance from Ian Hunter and uh, it has Thunderbuck Ram on it as well You're One of Us, I Can Feel it's a decent album, it's very rocky not quite glammy as I said the third one is Wildlife and this is not a bad album, this is mostly um, a Mick Ralph's album, I think he's the one that has the most songs off this and it's very folky but it's good the one track I really love off this is the original Mixed Up Kid, which is the Ian Hunter song. But yeah, good album. And this one here is Brain Capers. And this is not an original either, although I do have an original up in the wall. And this has got uh, Death May Be Your Santa Claus on it, which is an absolutely fantastic riff that the Rolling Stones would be proud of. Really good. And it has Sweet Angeline on it as well. It's a very good album. And there's a recompilation of the uh, Island years it's rock and roll queen and yeah it's okay it's got rock and roll queen you really got me thunderbuck ram walking with a mountain midnight lady which was a standalone single this could have been better to pick some songs i don't know, understand why but it does have death may be your santa claus they were going to split up and then mr bowie persuaded them not to by giving them all young dudes and this is the album uh the first for cbs and it has obviously the title track, a cover of The Velvet Underground, Sweet Jane. Um, Mama's Little Jewels, great. One of the Boys is a really good rocker. And um, Sucker, another really good song. It's a very good album. But better for me is Mott. And this is the one with the two hit singles, All the Way From Memphis and Honolulu Boogie. But it has the absolutely beautiful I Wish I Was Your Mother. Probably one of my all time favourite Mott songs. Whiz Kids very good, Him for the Dudes is great and Driving Sisters a really good wee rocker on side two. And then we get The Hoople from 1974 and this has got the two hit singles Roll Away the Stone and The Golden Age of Rock and Roll and The Brilliant Marionette another very strong album. And that was the end for Mott the Hoople. They did release however a live album and yeah it's okay I haven't really played this very much it's got Sweet Angeline on it, it's got Rose on it, which I think was the B-side of Honolulu Boogie. One of the boys, Get Back, it's decent. Mott the Hoople's Greatest Hits, and this is an absolutely fantastic album. I'm going to go through all the tracks, uh, all the way from Memphis, great, Honolulu Boogie, Him for the Dudes, Born Late 68, which is an over, over end Watts song from the Hoople. Um, all the Young Dudes, Roll Away the Stone, Ballad of Mott, Golden Edge of Rock and Roll and then you get the two uh, standalone singles at the end, Foxy Foxy and Saturday's Gigs and this is a really good album. This is actually the first Mott Hoople album I bought and I bought it in Woolworths. It's on the Pickwick label and basically it's very similar to that last album but it doesn't have Foxy Foxy on it or uh, Saturday's Gigs. What the Hoople, The Golden Age of Rock and Roll, which is a, a double album and basically it's the best of the CBS years and it is excellent. Okay, going on to Ian Hunter, um, his debut album and this has got One Spit and Twice Shy on it. And the very underrated single, Who Do You Love, which I think is very glammy but it's really good. And the beautiful 3000 Miles From Here, it's a very good album. I get so excited, it's great fun at the end. This is actually my favourite Ian Hunter album and it's All American Alien Boy and it's got David Sanborn on saxophone, you can tell because it sounds like 
young Americans really and Letter to Britannia from the Union Jack is an absolutely fantastic track um, Rape is very good, Irene Wilde is a great song as well uh, You Nearly Did Me and has got members of Queen on it it's an excellent album, I didn't like this at the start but this one has really grown on me and then we get, um, this is Overnight Angels from I think it's 1977 or 78 and this is a good album as well but it's very badly produced Golden Opportunity is a great track, uh, Just of the Peace is very good but it's very tinny and sound and this one's probably too well produced uh, it's You're Never Alone with Schizophrenic and this is the one with Just Another Night on it and Ships, Life After Death, Cleveland Rocks which was a reworking of a single called England Rocks uh, a couple of years previous Cleveland Rocks is the better track and Ian Hunter Live and this is a double live album with Mick Ronson as you can see Mick Ronson there uh, yeah decent enough live album uh, short back and sides from 1981 and this has got Liza Likes Rock and Roll on it and Central Park and West and there's various members of The Clash playing on this it's a good album but it's not brilliant there's other good songs on this uh, Gun Control is not too bad and The Theatre of the Absurd which is quite a reggae number I've always liked this one gets slated a lot and it's, all the good ones are taken and I actually quite like this, it's got the title track which I think is great and That Girl Loves Rock and Roll is a real Mott the Hoople type track and this also has what's the song that the Monkeys did Every Step of the Way which they did on their Pull album it's actually not a bad album Speechless is on this, it's status quo uh, covered it's not a great song this is Shades of Ian Hunter and this is a double sort of compilation of Half Mott the Hoople and half early Ian Hunter solo stuff good album Ian Hunter and Mick Ronson YUI Orta which I think is very very good in fact the CD is better because there's a track on the CD called How Much More Can I Take which is my favourite off the album but it's not on this uh, LP version I'm afraid but American Music is an absolutely brilliant track uh, Women's Institution is great as well Tell It Like It Is, Big Time is one of those sort of half rockabilly type songs it's a very very good album this one here is Ian Hunter's Dirty Laundry and I bought this by mistake, I was thinking I was buying the other album which was after this and I can't remember the name of it, I'll put it on the, the screen but it was this one it's okay, it's got Red Letter Day on it which is the best song of it uh, My Revolution's not bad It's that's not actually the original cover, this is a reissue, but this is a better cover. Um, Ian Hunter's album from last year, Defiance Part 1, really really good. Bed of Roses is an absolutely fantastic single. Defiance itself, A Pavlov's Dog, No Hard Feeling, good album. And then they released another one this year, Defiance Part 2. And overall I think this is the better album, although Better Rose is the best song of the whole lot, but People, uh, Fiction, The Third Reel, all very good tracks. And now we go on to Mick Ronson and Slaughter on 10th Avenue, and this is a really good album. The title track is Magnificent. Growing Up and I'm Fine it was written by David Bowie, and I don't know when it was actually written because it sounds like from around the time of Hunky Dory. It's got that sort of vibe to it. But I love it and actually Mick Ronson sounds like Bowie when he's singing it. Uh, Pleasure Van is pretty good as well and Only After Dark is a brilliant track which was covered by the Human League. Play Don't Worry and this is from I think 1976. This is not as good an album uh, but it does have Billy Porter which I really do like. I think it's a great little single Play Don't Worry, Hazy Days, it's okay and this is a recent purchase beside Bowie, the Mick Ronson story and this just takes in some David Bowie songs, some Mick Ronson solo, Joe Elliott uh, Queen, David Bowie and Mick Ronson doing Heroes Live at the Freddie Mercury concert it's a very good double album and now we get on to Sparks and uh, quite a few Sparks debut album although 
it was originally called Half Nelson in a different cover and they were known as Half Nelson and didn't sell so they changed the name to Sparks released it in this cover and it didn't sell either but this is a really good album like Wonder Girls great track Slow Boat I think should have been a single excellent track Sacred in the War I absolutely love and um, Fala La Lee is brilliant as well a really good album really good debut album this one here is a woofer in tweeters clothing and this is a tough album to get to uh, really into I love Girl from Germany it's one of my all-time favorite spark songs but the rest of the album is okay like Beaver and Lindy is fine uh, Whippings and Apologies is really good but at the start I hated this apart from Girl from Germany but now I really do like it quite a bit uh, Do Re Me from The Sound of Music is uh, quirky but it's enjoyable and then the big one um, from 74 and it's Kimono My House with this town ain't big enough for the both of us and Amateur R and Hustam and the Animasure thank god it's not Christmas absolutely brilliant and this one is like a carbon copy really and it's propaganda and it's got something for the girl with everything never turn your back on mother earth reinforcements at home at work at play who don't like kids absolutely brilliant my all time favourite Sparks album is Indiscreet from 75 produced by Mr Visconti it's got Hospitality on Parade absolutely fantastic song Get in the Swing and Looks 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 were the two singles which I really like but they're not the best songs off this uh, It Ain't 1918 is brilliant Under the Table with Her is just uh, violins and it's absolutely fantastic with uh, Russell's voice that really really good album In the Future is almost like a pre-punk song brilliant and then we have Big Beat, their last one for Ireland. Although I think they had signed for CBS or Columbia over in America by this time. And this is a heavier album. And yeah, this is good. It's got one of their best ever songs as well on it called Confusion. Big Boy's fine. Um, I've also always loved Filler Up. Uh, I think it's very, very quirky. And it's, it's a good album. I don't think it's brilliantly produced though. And then we have the best of sparks and this is a compilation of uh, material from the island years although nothing from big beat was featured for some reason and uh, it's very very good and there's one track gone with the wind which wasn't on any of the albums which I absolutely love and that's uh, a russell composition by himself i think then we have introducing sparks and this is a really good album as well this is on cbs and it's got the single a big surprise which is kind of bland but it's a good song but occupation is fantastic over the summer is almost like the beach boys and goofing off ladies and those mysteries really really good and from 1979 you have uh, number one in heaven with beat the clock the number one song in heaven and the best one is tryouts for the human race it's electronic it's dance and it is really really good and Terminal Jive and this is a follow up to that both were produced by Giorgio Moroder this is nowhere near as good although it does have When I'm With You which was a number one hit in France but the best track off this is a track called Stereo really really good Want That Sucker and they're getting more of a new wavy sound dropping the sort of electronic uh, keyboards and bringing in the guitars and this has got Funny Face which is great, Wacky Woman which is also really good fun, That's Not Nastasia which I think is hilarious and Susie Safety is my favourite track off this. This is regarded as one of their best of the 80s and it's Angst in My Pants and it's got the title track it also has Sherlock Holmes which is a really good song and Sex Town USA but my favourite is Eaten by the Monster of Love. And then Sparks uh, in Outer Space. And I remember this, this came out in 1983 and our record shop had it. I used to think, oh God, you know, I haven't seen these guys for a while. But this has got uh, Cool Places with Jane Wheldon, which is okay, it's not brilliant, but Rockin' Girls is the best track off this. I really, really like that. And uh, Popularity is catchy. Uh, all you ever think about is sex. It's a very, very good album. This one here is 
pulling rabbits out of a hat and I don't think this was actually released in the UK at the time uh, this has got the title track pretending to be drunk and there's one track off this it's almost like a ballad and it's really good and it's called with all my might absolutely fantastic song the album itself yeah it is pretty good it's mid 80 sparks but um, yeah decent this one here is music you can dance to and this is the American version I've got because it has a change on it which was a single uh, a weird single that they actually promoted on Terry Wogan's show it wasn't on the UK version a track called Armies of the Night was on it and that's my favorite track from that album that's not on it but I've got the CD but yeah this is a tough one this is really sort of mid 80s uh, production but the songs are actually quite good um, title tracks good change of course is pretty good uh, shopping mall of love is grand it's a decent enough album this one here tends to get slagged a lot on its interior design from 1988 and I think this is absolutely brilliant this actually is my favorite Sparks album of the 80s and it's got the toughest girl in town on it my favorite Sparks track of the 80s it's got Madonna on it uh, it's got so important which was a single and it's my least favorite track off it even though I do love it it's got let's make love on it it's really really good and I love that sort of very retro type cover brilliant album but that was them for the 80s and then they came back in the mid 90s with gratuitous sax and senseless violins and this is like a dance album as well and I didn't like this at the start but this has gone up so much in my estimation of Sparks albums one track in particular um, I think is absolutely brilliant and it's frankly Scarlet I don't give a damn I think it's a really really good song The Ghost of Liberace is brilliant the singles were now that I own the BBC um, when do I get to sing my way and when I kiss you I hear Charlie Parker playing really really good album and then we get this one here from I think it's 2000 and it's Balls well it's not it's pretty good but it's called Balls and the title tracks very good more than a sex machine is great the calm before the storm aeroflot again there's a dance sort of twist to this but it's a very very strong album and then little Beethoven from 2002 and this is just sort of strings and um, Russell's voice and it is very very good it's tough to get into though but once this sinks in it's, it is really good the rhythm thief I've always loved my baby's taking me home was a great track even though all the lyrics are my baby's taking me home my baby's taking me home that's it but it's very very good and this sort of got very well acclaimed it was very critically acclaimed by the press but yeah it takes a bit of getting used to but it's a very very strong album this one here hello young lovers is also a very strong album but easier to get into and this is the one with dick around on it and perfume and the one i really like is baby baby can i invade your country very very strong album this one here is exotic creatures of the deep and we're up to about 2008 now and yeah it's a good album as well it's got um lighten up morrissey on it good morning is great strange animal um i can't believe that you would fall for all of the crap in this song it's it's witty very very witty but it's a very strong album so yeah pretty good album um likeables and are a very good song these later sparks albums are all very sort of standard but they're very very good this one i do like and it's a seduction of ingmar bergman and he was a swedish film director in the 50s i believe and there's a lot of narrative in this but it's a really strong album i really adore the 1956 can film premiere it's, it's just a little bit of music but it's absolutely brilliant uh yeah always like this album hard to get on cd this is FFS and this is Sparks uh, Franz Ferdinand basically or Franz Ferdinand Sparks it's got Johnny Delusional on it which is great little guy from the suburbs um, the man without a tan things I won't get it's a good album I would have preferred it just to have been Sparks but it's decent 
and then Hippopotamus and this got them back into the top 10 again and this has got Edith Piaf said it better than me missionary position uh, Unaware I think is my favourite track off this again these albums are very solid albums this one here is a steady drip 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 and by this time I'm thinking maybe the formula is starting to wear thin a little bit I'm toast as good lawnmower as a hoot uh, Pacific Standard Time they're good songs but this one and Hippopotamus uh, to me are very very similar and I, sometimes I find it hard to remember which songs on which album but it's still a decent album uh, a few more just this is Annette and this is like a stage play that they wrote and they sing a couple of the songs off it it's decent it's I really enjoyed it at the start but I never ever go back to it and their most recent album and this is the girls crying in their latte and a lot of people on the VC who bought this thing is absolutely fantastic I think it is pretty good and it's a welcome change from the previous two albums but I don't think it's absolutely brilliant Veronica Lake's a good song uh, not well not that well defined we go dancing it's decent uh, but yeah these guys are in late 70s now so they're still putting out decent albums but not spectacular okay we're getting on to a couple of comps and this is past tense the best of and this is a 3 LP set and this starts off with Wonder Girl on their debut album and goes up to Edith Piaf which was on the uh, Hippopotamus album so a really really good sort of cross section of their work this one here I'm showing again and this is the best and the best of the island years so basically LP1 is that album I showed and LP2 is the b-sides and this is a red vinyl and this was a record store day issue from 2018 I believe and the last one for today is the history of sparks I got this in the mid to late 80s and basically this has got a couple of tracks from the pre-island years so you've got wonder girl and you've got girl from germany the first place i heard this and then you get stuff from the um number one in heaven and terminal jive album and i think there's yeah there's some from they want that sucker as well it's okay it's not great but you know it's a decent enough comp okay so that's my Mott the Hoople Ian Hunter McRonson and Sparks collection the next one will be the last of the glam rock and I'll be starting with Steve Harley but there will be more sort of artists there sort of filed at the bottom so there'll be more than two I think there'll be about 10 different artists okay that's me for now I hope you enjoyed that I hope to have that next video quite soon all the best now bye bye